Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's Riva's Antiques in Tilbury, Ontario. Um, it's reasonably well organized, although there are some things that appear in multiple aisles, which is okay. Um, He's obviously trying to catch attention from different places. As you can see, there's there's a, a lot, a lot of stuff crammed in. The aisles are not particularly wide. He has some quite unusual pieces in, within the store. Seems to be a thing to have highway signs, uh, directional signs and so on in, in some of these stores. There were a few things that were of interest, but on checking the comparables, some of the items were significantly overpriced. Some were just at retail. There certainly was no meat in it for, uh, for us to do anything else with them. Yes, they had bottles of all sorts soft drink bottles and so on. Uh, and unfortunately I got some of the, <laughs> must have had the camera head tilted in the wrong position. In any case, you get to see the upper portions of the area and it's piled up pretty high, folks. There we are. We're back down to the earth. An interesting pair of uh, tractor seats made put onto posts. Very short posts, so you can put on a longer post of whatever other material you want, or put it onto a bar, whatever, as you as your call. But they've made it a somewhat easier to deal with. Again, with the uh, high areas being viewed. Although I think that was part of my intent in some of this, because we are looking at some very interesting items up the wall there. And the back end of the store was actually quite dimly lit, which is fine with me. Uh, and all I do is you turn on either the flashlight on your smartphone or, or you get a f flashlight out of your pocket in any case. They were larger items in that area, so it wasn't really an issue. tend to be like furniture, 
cabinets, things of that nature. I may have actually gone through the same area a couple of times from the looks of it. Different focus though. Oh, I know what it was. There's two parallel, four parallel aisles from front to back, and you end up not um, avoiding the back wall kind of area. So, uh, there's this. Uh, about three quarters of the way there is another cross aisle. So you're not entirely at the mercy of the length of the aisle, but fairly close. Interesting uh, light fixtures. Not the ones that are lighting up the store, but the ones that they're actually offering for sale. Interesting collection of ephemera effectively framed up. Looks like a train bell. And there's the street end of it. Here we are we're wandering down one of the aisles. Sadly, I had a bit much of the ceiling portion, but it has just enough that I didn't want to chop it out either because it has some of the artwork. There's a Coca-Cola item. There's some toys on this side. And look like rifles. Um, I expect that they have certain portions removed so that they're not immediately usable. It tends to be the te technique used in this country, in this province at least, to disable the capabilities. They might be useful, I don't know. I wasn't interested enough to ask. Some of the darker areas, some, some pots in there. Felt like I had to turn sideways to get through some of this part. So you can see we're coming up to the same signs there. There's the proprietor down the end of the aisle. Couple of clocks, mantle clocks, if I remember the phrase for it. Like a gas stove, might be electric. Uh, 
a buddy of mine who was is interested in phones, so I took some pictures to send off to him. And he thought they were overpriced and it wasn't ones he wanted. I looked at this. I checked the comparison uh, com comps on it and I could probably get it sent to me for a bit less than what he's offering for. Not that it's a bad deal in some respects because you don't have to wait at all. But... And then the cans where I sold an eyes, there is a individuals or is a in larger groups there's the signage for that the motor master were a bit cheaper and a dental filling grinder from the 1880s he's got it marked down the half price wow I'm not sure about the provenance on it, but there you go. There's the rest of the phones as I found them. I sent them pictures of a couple of them. Um, even a linesman clip phone. I'm not sure why he had this other than the blue bottle. Uh, I've been in contact with some folks and they said, yeah, I still buy those. They're pretty good drinks. <laughs> Not sure. I haven't seen them around here, but it doesn't mean they aren't. I have some stores near me that have Mexican colas and Chinese versions of Lay's potato chips. They're flavors that we don't have here natural normally, so license plates. And uh, other stuff. Anyway, I'm hoping you enjoyed this tour. Uh, it was a bit different because it's an antique shop. And Hope you throw us a, a, a subscription and a like and a bell ring so you know when the rest of the videos are coming up. And I hope you're well. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.